Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Tax to Pay for another video on cloud accounting. Today we're going to be doing Sage Cloud Accounting and how to customise your sales invoice so you can get it to look more how you want it to look. But just before I do, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel. If you're returning, welcome. If you're new, welcome. But also hit that subscribe and bell notification. We'll be releasing a lot of content over the cloud accounting solutions that are available. Uh, we generally deal with zero QuickBooks free agent, Sage, cash flow. We'll be also doing some stuff on automation, so like of auto entry or Dext or Entryless. So stick around. If you like the video, drop a like. If you want to hit a comment, comment. Uh, even if it's just to say thank you or if you have a question, please, we, we welcome that interaction. So let's get into the video now. As you can see, we're in our dashboard. We just started using the software and now we want to customize the sales invoice to look at a bit more how we want so we're comfortable with how it looks when it goes out because obviously that's what's re representing us as a business to clients. So where you have to go is you have to go to settings. Now you've got uh, some different options here. So you go about your business. So this is the business de details included on the sales and purchase documents. So this is what you can set, obviously your name, address, um, postcode. So that's your details there as the business. Um, what then you've also got is templates and logos. So now this is where you choose your template. So if you're product based or service based, it depends on what you are. So as you can see here, provides space for large amounts of descriptive text with a VAT rate and amount per line. That's what a service based one does. Show product codes, quantities and unit prices. So it really depends on what you are. We're very much a service based. Having a look, I personally like this one, but it's entirely down to you. If you don't like any of those, they have some originals, which are a bit more from the first base. They've just released the new ones and put them at the top. This is where you'd add your logo. So if you have a company logo and it shows you the recommended size. Uh, if you have any association notes, if you're, like it says here, trade, trade accreditation or trade memberships, uh, you can add them there as well. You also have the theme color. So if you wanted it in a different color, it shows you the preview of the boxes. Um, or if you know the hex code that you want, you can put it in there. Uh, you also got the font. Now they've only got two here, Helvetia and Arial, and then the font size, small, medium, large. So what I would recommend is you to just play around, have a look at some previews of some invoices, see what you think, and then obviously you can take it from there. So if I just press save on that for that part, then you've also got the document preferences. So we can see what's shown on the invoice. So you might want to call a sales invoice just an invoice. You might want to call a credit note just a credit note rather than a sales credit note. Uh, pro forma, you want to just call it pro forma. You, you can change these words. Um, you can also change the prefixes that you have here. So quotes is SQ, estimates are SE, sales invoice is SI, SCN. You can also give the next number, the next invoice number. Okay. You can also show what is going to be shown on the invoice with reference to client details. You can also say what the description is. So where it says description, you can call that something else or the price slash rate. You can call, you can customize these wordings to suit your business more than you ever could in um, Sage Line 50 without knowing the report designer ins and outs. This is where you can put information on the bottom so if you have bank details that you want to put on the bottom of the invoice you can put it there if you want to put the terms and conditions it will take it from records and transaction settings but if you want to put something in particular here then you can obviously notes if you want to put any notes in there for the invoice and credit note uh, like I said it can be such as bank details for your payment and you can edit these when you actually create them as well and then for your EU stuff it has a pretty standard set of uh, sentences that it needs to use. So that's where you have the different parts of the invoice that you can obviously change. You've obviously got the email as well. So email reply address and it would always, you can set this up, obviously I'm using a demo account. So you can set this up that when it someone replies to the email, it goes to a particular email address. Also it can send you a copy. It will always attach documents as a PDF. Also default email message. So for invoice, it will be thank you for your business. We would be pleased to attach your invoice in PDF for full details, including payment terms are included. If you have any questions, please not hesitate to contact us. And you can have different emails for different 
parts. So credit notes, statements, remittances, they can all have different email addresses as well as your, your chasing emails can all be very different as well. So what I'd recommend you do is just go through these one by one and go, right, what do I need to send out? I can see here statement settings. What does it show? Outstanding, outstanding items only or all activity. So you can really set that in, but we'll cover statements in a different video. But you can really set very, very specific options that suit you and make your business slightly different to the next business that uses Sage Cloud Accounting. So really go through these options and make sure that you set them how you want them to do. So that's it for today. That's a very, very simple video on how to deal with the setup of your sales invoice. Like I said, this is the bit that's going to show off your business to new customers when you do their invoicing and make it so you can get repeat business. Because if your invoice is not very clear, people find it very hard to read. They're not, that's one of the things subliminally that they will use to not use you again. Um, so please make sure it's clear. So like I said, that's it for today. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. Also, if you like the video, drop a like. If you have a comment, even if it's just to say thank you or I'm not sure about this, please fill out and drop us a comment. We'll reply to every single comment as we always do. But until next time, stay safe.